Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting rational equation problem. It is square root x over 4th root x plus 1 whole square plus square root x over 4th root x minus 1 whole square equal to 30. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started with our numerator written root x. I can write root x as x power half. Further, I can write x power 2 times 1 by 4, which will be written as x power 1 over 4 whole power 2. How it is? Using exponent law, a power b times c, we can write a power b whole power c. So this can be written as fourth root of x whole square. So I will replace our numerators by writing over there fourth root of x whole square. Let's rewrite our equation. Fourth root of x whole square divided by fourth root of x plus 1 whole square plus fourth root of x whole square divided by fourth root of x minus 1 whole square equal to 30. Now we will use one exponent property which states that let me write here a power n over b power n. Any time we can write a over b whole power is n. Let's use here. So I will be writing 4th root of x divided by 4th root of x plus 1 and this complete square plus 4th root of x over 4th root of x minus 1 this complete square and right hand side is 30. Now I will use substitution, fourth root of x, I will consider variable a. Let's consider here, let fourth root of x equal to a. So our equation will become a over a plus 1 whole square plus a over a minus 1 whole square equal to 30. Now I will use algebraic manipulation. See this bracket is a over a plus 1. This bracket is a over a minus 1. I will add LHS two times a over a plus 1 times a over a minus 1. So I need to add RHS also, the same thing, 2 times A over A plus 1 times A over A minus 1. What I did here, I used one algebraic identity. I am writing capital A plus capital B whole square and then I will be writing here twice AB. So this term is twice AB term. This is nothing but A plus B whole square. You can see A square is here, B square is here and this curly bracket is twice AB term. So LHS I can write it is A plus B whole square. That means A over A plus 1 plus A over A minus 1 whole square. And right hand side is 30 plus. Now 2a square is our numerator, this product. And denominator, if you will see, this is a plus b, a minus b, the difference of two squares identity. So I can write a square minus 1 square or a square minus 1. Let us take LCM here. So I will write this equation as 
a over a plus 1 plus a over a minus 1 whole square equal to 30 plus 2a square divided by a square minus 1. Now I will take LCM here. So I will be writing here a plus 1 times a minus 1 in the denominator and here I will be writing a times a minus 1 plus a times a plus 1 and then I will write the complete square and right hand side is 30 plus 2a square over a square minus 1. Now you can see once I will expand I will get here this plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out. So what I will get it is 2a square over denominator is difference of 2 squares a square minus 1 whole square. Right hand side let me write 2a square term first over a square minus 1 plus 30. Now this 2a square over a square minus 1 I will presume t. So let me write here let 2a square over a square minus 1 equal to suppose t. So I can write equation as t square is equal to t plus 30 or t square minus t minus 30 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. Remember our substitution is 2a square over a square minus 1 is t. Let's solve this quadratic first. So I will write t square minus t minus 30 equal to 0. Method of factorization. I will write t square minus 60 plus 5t. Minus 30 equal to 0. From first to I can take t common. So t minus 6 in the bracket. From last to I will take 5 common. So t minus 6 will be in the bracket. Overall t minus 6 is common. Second bracket will be t plus 5. Right hand side is 0. So product 0 method. I will write here t minus 6 equal to 0 or t plus 5 equal to 0. From here we can get 6 and negative 5 as our t. Now what was t? t was 2a square over a square minus 1. So I will be writing here 2a square over a square minus 1 equal to 6 and second time I will be writing 2a square over a square minus 1 equal to negative 5. So one by one I will solve one solution I will write here. Let me consider the first one 2a square over a square minus 1 equal to 6. Cross multiplication I will write 6a square minus 6 equal to 2a square. Now I will take 2a square to the left then it will become 4a square and minus 6 to the right so 6. Equation is divisible by 2 so 2a square is equal to 3. a square will be equal to 3 by 2. Now x was if you remember our substitution 4th root of x was a. This was our original substitution. So x is a power 4. So I will write here x equal to a power 4 which will be 3 by 2 whole square. So from here I am getting 9 over 4. So our first solution is 9 over 4. Now let us consider this second equation. 
टू ए स्क्वायर ओवर ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन इक्वल टू नेगेटिव फाइव सो आई विल राइट हेयर टू ए स्क्वायर ओवर ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन इक्वल टू नेगेटिव फाइव क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन आई विल राइट हेयर टू ए स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव ए स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव और आई कैन राइट सेवन ए स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फाइव और आई कैन राइट ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फाइव ओवर सेवन सो एज पर अवर सब्सटीट्यूशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए पार फोर सो आई विल राइट हेयर फाइव ओवर सेवन होल स्क्वायर सो अवर सेकेंड सोल्यूशन इज कमिंग आउट ट्वेंटी फाइव ओवर फोर्टी नाइन so we have got our two real solutions let me write here once x is equal to 9 over 4 and x is equal to 25 over 49 and this brings the end of this video do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye